We created a game called Quarantine Defense. It was supposed to go out on the Google Play Store originally, but it got suspended because it was related to COVID-19. And Google Play has some rules in there where you can't um, play off current world events or something like that. So that's why they suspended it. Um, but I'm here with Bodie Odell. Um, he's the artist who drew all the art, which Thank is pretty much what's, uh, what made the game, really, in my opinion. Um, so we're just going to talk about what we did during these two weeks where we developed Quarantine Defense. Um, so, Bodie, what was, what was that like, uh, drawing all the art? What was like some of the hardest things, or what do you think went well? Me, uh, probably the hardest was keeping it concise, the same theme and everything looking similar so it had like nothing was out of place you know but uh to me it was it was a really fun experience and it taught me a lot you know about making assets for games so yeah and Bodhi um Bodhi's pretty much used to just drawing I'd say for the m most part more action like character characters and stuff like that and so for the game, he had to draw all the UI elements, which, as far as I'm aware, you didn't have that much experience doing. Yeah, none at all. <laughs> yeah. Before and that, I'd, I'd draw, like, monsters. Exactly, basically. right? Most of his scenes were, like, main characters and stuff like that. Um, but as, as far as I'm concerned, the UI turned out really well, and I'm really happy with how pretty much the whole theme and aesthetics of the game looked. Um, so, so good on you for that. It looked really good. Uh, I feel like the people would have really appreciated that, and had we continued developing it, um, we could have made some more really cool, or you could have made some really cool assets. On my end, I did all the coding. Um, I didn't really have to do this make sure it all fits together type situation because it's the code, and you don't really see that really. Um, there was a lot of like small bugs that kept popping up. There was a lot of um, bugs that were... Con that that were associated with the ads and putting the ads in, but I think I think I ended up getting the ads working. And had we been able to actually de um, deploy to the to the store, we would have been able to see real ads being played instead of the test ones that happen at the end of every round. Overall, it was real fun to get to work with you. I think you did terrific on the coding. You know, I wouldn't have been able to make any of that. <laughs> yeah. So, from a coding uh, standpoint, I don't. Because the character stayed in place, there's really no saving going on. Uh, compared to other things, I think it's relatively easy what happened. Um, but this being our first game that we made, I think it was it was good for us to go on the safe side and try to make something that was easy and also putting that two-week time limit on ourselves uh, definitely helped us put out the product at, or at least potentially put it out. Had we... Because we tried doing something before... Um, for a Steam game, and it, I think we just put too much on our plate, and it ended up just not going anywhere. Yeah, just really. lost, lost the traction. Right. Um, so putting that two, kind of putting that two-week time limit on us really helped us out, um, forced us to get work done, and forced us to, uh, us to stay up late, and and really <laughs> grind it out for the most part. Um, right. So, I mean, overall, I think we we both had pretty good experiences, and. I really wish we could have got it out. It would have been so sick to collaborate with somebody else for our first game, actually, and right. and, and get something out there. It would have been so sick. But Google, they hating, big hating. Um, but I mean, I kind of understand. But also at the same time, there's other apps that are on the App Store that don't seem to follow the same rules, unless so they must have got grandfathered in or something. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, exactly. But we're hoping uh, we're hoping to create another app that won't break these rules. So hopefully, I don't know, by the end of the year, potentially, we'll have another app out. Well, we'll have an app out, hopefully by the end of the year. Um, mm -hmm. And that's, I think that's our, our goal going forward, really, is just by the end of the year to have an app out that everyone can play and we can, we can display Bodhi's art and also hopefully show off some of the coding and, and maybe make a little bit of money off of it just from simple ad placements that you guys don't have to watch but hopefully um yeah they're not intrusive ads they're just ads that you can click on to get in-game currency or something like that and we don't force it on you and that's kind of how we're we designed our 
the app that we already made and we're hoping to design apps going forward. Right. I think that's it from us guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, stick around after this. I'm going to show some video of me and my dog playing. Thanks guys. Have a good one.